There you guys have it. Nice, some good bait in there. Stick with us, guys. I'm going to show you exactly how to build this trap and how to catch bait. Stick with us. Today we're talking about bait traps and how to properly catch bait and what bait to use and how exactly to make this trap right here. You guys seen this just worked really well. All this is is half inch chicken wire. Works really well. I have two openings in either end that they can get in through this little hole right here. Once they're inside this trap, there's bait held in this center spiral right here. And I actually have a little lid that comes off here and I just put dog food or cat food, dry dog food, cat food inside the middle here and let it soak for just a couple hours. All right guys, we're gonna get this going. We're gonna dive right into building this thing. I'm gonna strap you on my head for the most part on this, but really all you need is this half inch chicken wire mesh and zip ties and some kind of nice cutters to cut through this a uh, little metal on here. So I'm gonna strap you in my head and we're gonna get right into this. We're gonna cut a long strip for the side all the way down this and then we're gonna use these two pieces for our actual top and bottom. It's as easy as that. We're only gonna do one opening on this one. I've experimented over the years. I've had ones with four openings, two openings. I have a creek chub trap that I built. I'll do a later video on that that only has one opening and it's got weighted it's got weights on the bottom so it kind of stays in the current and creeks and stuff like that. So I'm going to strap it to my head. We're going to dive right in this. All right, guys. We're going to start off. This is how tall my trap's actually going to be. We're going to open these babies up, and we're just going to cut right down the whole length of this trap, just like this. All right, guys. This is going to be the sides for my trap. Um, I'm going to kind of lay this out. I'm going to get a basic size so I have enough wire to go around the edge. And then I'm going to cut off all these little sides right here to make it just where it doesn't catch up on as many weeds and stuff like that. So that's going to be my sides. This is going to be my bottom part here. We're actually going to take this. I'm only going to make this one about this big, guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this wire. I'm actually going to lay it out on this side here. I'm kind of straighten it out a little bit. I got one side here, I got an angle right here. I'm gonna take that, bend that at a 90 degree angle right here. And I'm gonna go down to about right here. Give it another 90 degree bend, just like that. So you can see the basic shape of it coming together right here. I'm going to go into about right here. This is where my opening is going to be right here. I'm actually going to take, bend this in, just like this here, just like that, and then continue down. And see, I'm a little short, guys, so I'm going to make this trap just a little shorter here. Probably bring it to about right here before I start doing my bend. See if that is going to give me enough room to play with here. Got my little bend coming in right here. Bend it back out. And as you can see, that's going to give me plenty of room. I'm going to line her up right here. And I'm going to go down to this mark right here. I'm going to take my cutters, start making some cuts on here. And this is going to be perfect size to get my boat, having my car all the time, not going to take up a lot of room. So this is going to be the size of my trap. Give that a little straightening out, it's a little bent there. This stuff is really easy to work with though guys. So what we're going to do is we're going to lay this down, get an exact copy of the exact size, and we're going to start making some cuts. 
but this is the gist of it. It's as easy as that. This will be my extra mesh. I'll do a flap on the top and I'll do a little bait cylinder inside. But this is my top and bottom right here. I'm going to go ahead, take my little cutters. I'm going to trim all these little edges down, make it all nice. All these little edges I'm going to take off. Get it to where it's nice and smooth on the outsides on both pieces. And on this piece right here. It's going to take a little time, so I'm not going to bore you with that. Alright guys, so now that I got all three of my pieces cut, cleaned up, I'm actually going to cut one the same height as this out of this spare piece that I got and I'm going to roll it into a cylinder and that's actually what's going to hold my bait. Just get the same height going there. So right here is my height. Bait cylinder holder that I'm doing here I'm actually just going to roll up the size that I think I need, and I think I'm far enough there. I think that's going to be a good size. I don't need nothing crazy, so I'm going to go ahead and cut right along these lines here. Two zip ties. Get that pretty close together, the size you want. Put a zip tie on the top. Zip tie on the top, zip tie on the bottom, and this right here will be my bait holder. Take your little snips, snip, snip, and that's going to be my bait holder right there guys. This is going to go somewhere right in the middle like this right here, and that's where I'm going to put a little opening on top, and that's what's going to hold my bait in place so the fish actually can't eat this. Because if they eat too much, it's going to make your tank too dirty. So you'd have to put them in a second tank for a couple days, and then um, put them in after that, after they poop out all that stuff they ate. So, All right, guys. So I'm going to take this zip ties. I'm just going to work my way on around. I'm just going to kind of get one in here to get it started. Just pop it through there. Get one tight. You can it's probably better to use small zip ties. This is all I got handy right now. Um, so this is going to work fine. I mean, it don't got to look pretty. This thing is going to get covered with some algae and stuff after a while. Um, so what I'm going to do is just get where my bend is right here. Get one down here at the end. Pop it through there. Get the zip tie. Kind of a little sloppy right now, but it's going to form up really nicely. And you can see that's how it's, that's how it's getting started right there. I'm going to keep on going around down this edge right here and kind of straighten out that wire a little bit so it's a little bit straight and I'm going to keep just getting some zip ties on down this uh, on down this side right here so you can see it's starting to come together already guys um, let me get this going here I'm going to see what kind of bend I'm working with here I think that is going to be pretty good right there. You can actually measure and you can get them exactly right, but for the most part, this is going to be just fine. Get another zip tie right in this corner here. And then we have our end right here, guys. I'm going to take my cutters. I'm going to cut right down this end. Just like that right here. Get one on this end, just like that. And that's going to close it off right there. And get one up here at the top too. Alright guys, so as you can see, it's already coming together. I'm going to take the little cutters, cut off all these little zip tie ends. Right there guys. I'm going to rework this opening a little bit here. I'm probably going to go something just like that right there. Nice little opening, just like that. Um, 
and that is it. Now we're going to put our top on just like this right here. Just like that, and that is going to be our little trap. It's like a miniature crab pot. But before we put the top on, so our opening is going to be right here. Our little bait holder is going to be right here. I'm going to put it towards this end so they swim in here and uh, just kind of kind of get stuck in here. And they only have one entrance. They give them some way to get in here. And so we're going to take that, position that somewhat right in the set in the center there. Running out of zip, running out of zip ties here. But for this bait holder, just kind of run it through there, and it don't got to be held in there really good. Just something to hold the bait in place. And right there, guys, that is going to be my little bait holder right there. And I do believe that we're good to go to put the top on. Same thing guys, with this top, just take your zip ties, run them down the ends here. You don't just get it formed right away. You can always add a bunch more later. There she is right there guys. I'm gonna add a couple more zip ties just so they can't get out. I'm gonna add a few more here on the tops and bottoms. But uh, that right there is it. Now, for this opening, for this opening here, I'm going to get you a little closer to the light so you can see. I want to do, I normally do three squares. You can almost do two, but I'm going to do three. And you can kind of smoosh it together if you want to. But I'm just going to cut out a little opening. Just like this. Two on the top. Two on the bottom. Right there. Cut that top, and let me grab that so it doesn't fall down in there, and snip those bottom two, and there's a little piece I cut out. You see there's a little opening. You could actually take this, uh, open these up a little bit, make it a, make it a circle. Um, sometimes that's what I like to do is kind of just open it up like that, make a little circle, and those fish will swim right in there. If you're getting big hand-sized bluegills, you want to have you want to go up one more. This one I'm actually going to use for creek chubs and bullheads, so they're going to have no problem getting up in there. Now the last thing I have to do is just figure out which one I want on top, and I'm going to cut a little opening right here, just to get into this bait trap here. All right, guys. For this little holder where I'm gonna have put my get it have it baited, I'm just going to take and just kind of cut a small section out right inside this hole. All right. As you can see, there's my little bait holder right there. I am gonna add if I have any more zip ties. I'm running low, using more than I thought. We're just going to put one zip tie right in here just to hold this little baby in, in, in place. Now all I'm going to do is take a little piece of this wire right here and just make a little flap. I don't need it very big. I'm going to cut it about this size right here and I'm just going to have a little flap where I could open that up and close it up and have my opening there because you don't want those bullheads to get inside that bait or else they'll never go inside the trap to get it. And that is my little my little holder there. I'm going to take a couple zip ties. I'm going to do that fold trip guys. Get a little bite. Bend it up once more again so you get a little shape like this right here and just kind of do a little tighter so, so you can kind of make it in and out just like that. We got one there. Do one more for the other side. And the other thing I do a lot of times, guys, is I do the same thing as this right here and put a little opening 
in the middle so I can open that up and actually get those baits out really easily. Um, but like I'm gonna do on this one is I already have one end that is, is open, that was cut. You can see I can spread this apart pretty easily and I can pop them out of there. That's gonna work fine for me. If you don't wanna pull open the side of your trap like that, you can just make another nice little lid just like this to get in there and it's not gonna do anything, but I don't need nothing fancy. These things catch a lot of bait. So what you, the, the whole thing is, is, is you put your bait in right here. The fish smell it, swim in through this hole, are stuck in here looking for a way out and they have a hard time finding this hole because it's angled inwards to get back out. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for future videos. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I really appreciate all your guys' support. I like doing these tip videos. I'm getting a lot of feedback doing them. So I'm really appreciative, guys. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next one.